I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Then they'd have their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. Let's not leave anything to chance. Last thing we need is some damn survivor making trouble for us in the new world. And the assassin? We have what we need. I am the Order's humble servant. You're not even a person anymore. You're a tool. A weapon. A plaything. We're done here. And in the glorious New World Order, there won't be any room for broken toys like us! Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. In the wake of revolution, the Order will adapt. The new Order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear, untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Hey guys, this is Games Exposed. I won't be talking much in this video, because it kind of speaks for itself. I don't think this was part of a prank created by a programmer to, who wanted to troll conspiracy theorists. I think it's part of the plan, like everything else these days. The all-seeing eyes are pretty much present everywhere in this game. This is the tallest building in Assassin's Creed 2. I guess the all-seeing eye likes to be all-seeing. Nice background over here. Of course here is a section where you will have to slow down the video a bit, or for the obvious all-seeing eye there are also other symbols used in occultism. The cross darkens the horizon, this could be a direct reference to Christianity. Uh, on this top of the pyramid, we will see an unsurprising symbol. I am the only king here! And the only king here, and then we see the all-seeing eye. This is just a coincidence, guys. Now this church is very interesting, we have the four elements here, four earthly elements, we got earth, air, water, and fire. We have to align these symbols uh, so that we can open the rabbit hole. It is interesting when we analyze in real life that we also have some churches influenced by this pagan symbolism. When you combine these four elements, you get a hexagram, which is supposedly called the Star of David. I think it has more to do with Solomon rather than David. This is magical cult stuff. It has nothing to do with God. Now, of course, Masons were the ones who built the churches in the medieval days, and that's why you see most of their doctrine present. We go down the rabbit hole similarly to how we go down uh, in the Inverdis Virtus uh, game. And we have a hexagram. This is not a coincidence, guys. Now we see the pyramid and we will interact what with an artifact. Have? Let's see what this artifact is. The artifact. And yes, we see a nice octahedron here. I also believe it to be the cube of Metatron, which is connected to the fruit of life, the flower of life, and the Kabbalah tree of life. 
if we play with forces that we do not understand completely, the ending is also inevitable, in this case the destruction of a whole town, beginning with the church. I believe this is connected. This is connected to the CERN conspiracy. We just passed the nice little Denver horse of the apocalypse there. And now we see the checkerboard floor, of course. This is not random, it is directly related to the escape. Uh, that they believe will happen once you open the gates between the pillars once you go through the stairs this is a common this is a common masonic symbol right here he ends in water which is of course symbol for the abyss now here here's what these guys say how could god do this to them god, had god has to nothing do to this. do with this of course uh, if you go to CERN, you will see a nice Shiva goddess statue, which is the destroyer of worlds in Hinduism. We see the symbol again here. Very nice, we see some light, some counterfeit light of Lucifer. Uh, and now we go head to head with another pyramid again. Another octahedron, another Kabbalistic symbol, Metatron cube holds down, of course. Uh, the octahedron is actually a combination of two pyramids, basically. Now, of course, this whole area will be destroyed again. At this point, there is also an individual from the Assassin's Crew who says, is this world, world worth saving? Which kind of shows you the morality of the assassins. They're not the good guys that you thought they were. Uh, again, the checkerboard floor in the ending of uh, Assassin's Creed Rogue. Uh, this boy and this girl is direct symbolism to Adam and Eve and the apple. He talked about stealing an apple there. The whole palace of Versailles is actually with checkerboard floor. And this happens in 1776, when the official order of the Illuminati was actually formed. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. Now we are in Assassin's Creed Unity, we see the same checkerboard floor going to the light. Uh, to access this uh, well-wanted escape. You want to escape time and space? They think God is a dictator. So they want to create this immortality by the full control of the elements of this planet. Now if you know your symbolism, this should also lead to some sort of escape. Let's see what uh, escape we will find. If you can pluck your head from your own arse, come find us. You may find them. In my other videos you will see that it has to do with the opening the gates to hell. So let's see what we find here after we open the gates. Very nicely, we go through the light and we enter the darkness. We see a lot of figures here. These uh, guys are all part of the uh, abyss. And we even see on the wall a word uh, which is mortis and it refers to death. Mortis is death in Latin. So we are in the land of the dead. And a nice ritual is also taking place here. It's all occult stuff that they don't say in the game. It's an alternative interpretation 
on what we see and it is strictly my own opinion. Another scene where you will have to turn down the speed of the video to be able to see all the symbols. This is the symbol for Abstergo, the main company in the game. This is the symbol for Assassin's Creed, which supposedly fight for freedom. We also find this symbol of Masons throughout the tunnels of the game. In these tunnels we can get anywhere in the city, all without being seen. We have eyes everywhere. Really? Seems visibility would be a problem. Wouldn't you prefer something with a view? This place has served us well for 600 years, Pisspot. The Templars are the second faction in the game, they are viewed as negative, however, I see these two secret societies the same as evil. Assassin's Creed and the Templars have the same principles, as well as initiation process. Very well. Out of the dark you come into the light. From the light you will return to the dark. Are you prepared to travel the Eagle's path? That's a fancy way of asking, do I want your help? Yes. Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shea Patrick Cormac. Templar of the Colonial, of the American right. Then drink. These are the words spoken by our ancestors, the words that lay at the heart of our creed. Follow them and be uplifted. Break them at your peril. Rise, assassin. Arno Dorian is dead. 
He has been culled from this world, and his sins and failures turned to dust. Tonight he is reborn, a novice of the Assassin Brotherhood. Do you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May the, May the Father, Father of, of Understanding, understanding guide, guide us. us. But you are Templars now. The secret and true legislatures of the world. Please, hold out your hands. Mark and remember our purpose. To guide our wayward souls till they've reached a quiet road guide all wayward desire till impassioned hearts are cool. To guide all wayward minds to safe and sober thought. By the Father of Understanding's light, let our work now begin. A most interesting fact is that Jacques de Molay the Grand Master of the Templars, and Geoffrey de Charnay, when they were about to be executed in 1314 by King Philip IV and Pope Clement V, cursed them with a combination of words completing each other's sentences. Pope Clement, hear me? Before this year is out, you will answer for your crimes before God Almighty! And you, King Philip, no punishment is too heinous for the great evil you have inflicted upon the temple! I curse you! Curse you to the 13th generation of your blood! You shall be cursed! The curse worked, and both the King of France and the Pope died the same year. This is all historically documented, and you can even find it on Wikipedia. The stuff is real. The Templars knew something that they gathered from the Temple of Solomon. Solomon's temple had the same pillars that you see in Masonic symbolism, and there is no coincidence. The Templars united with the Freemasons in Scotland, because Scotland was one of the best places to retreat after their banishment, as there was no papal influence. Another best place is where is now Switzerland, where they retreated through the trails of the mountains of France, which they knew very well. We see great progress in these two areas after the arrival of the Templars, and prior to Switzerland there are folklore tales that portray white knights helping the peasants successfully defend against professional invading armies. Scotland also successfully won their independence battle, in time, the power of the hidden Templars has only grown, and now they are trying to awake the beast at CERN. Which is why they have a monument of Shiva, the destroyer of worlds, right next to the facility. Upon analysis, we realize that there is no way to represent the good in this game. Both Templars and Assassins are part of the same occult world, two factions of the same head. You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to 
save the world. I hope our world is a good one. Solomon, as opposed to his father, started following the deities of his foreign wives, deities such as Ashtoreth, Chemosh, and Molech, which even required child sacrifice. What is the symbol? They say it's the Star of David, but there are no real references that connect this symbol to David. On the contrary, there are a lot of references that connect this symbol to the seal of Saturn, occult works, and Kabbalistic sources. I believe it has more to do with Solomon than with David. It has more to do with the conquering of the forces of nature than with God's teaching. The occultists believe that through the use of human technology, conquering of these forces of nature through the alchemical mastery and the practice of the mystery Babylonian religions, man will achieve full control of the world and become immortal without the help of God. This process will be completed with the coming of the new age or the new world and this is the knowledge that the Templars brought back from the Temple of Solomon. They are followers of the bull gods, which Solomon betrayed God for, and that is why you see the bulls in this depiction of Solomon's temple. The Templars, followers of Ba, or Ba-El. That is why we have an interesting movie called The Brotherhood of the Bell, where it is being shown how the secret societies work and what can happen if the vows of secrecy are being broken. Do you swear that having been entrusted with these articles and letters since midnight this night, that you alone read them and did not communicate their content to any person whatsoever? I so swear. Having so sworn, are you now prepared to go forward? I am prepared. Mr. Dunning, for over 200 years, Brothers of the Bell have been initiated before the spell, and in the same ceremony, at sunrise. 22 years ago, Mr. Patterson stood due east in your place, and I became his senior, as Mr. Patterson is now yours. One day, Mr. Patterson will stand due south, and he will induct a Brother of the Bell, and you will become senior. See, in this fashion does the Brotherhood express its continuity. It will continue long after all of us are dead. But that continuity depends upon one thing. Obedience. Absolute obedience. If and when you are ever called upon by Mr. Patterson to pay your due bill, you must comply, whatever is asked of you. Well, that bill may come due tomorrow, in 20 years, or never. It will not be a matter of money. It will be an act of fealty, of loyalty to the Brotherhood of the Bell. Now, if you require anything at all, get in touch with your senior, and he will see to it that it's arranged for you. Are you ready for the oath? I am. The oath, gentlemen. I, I Chad and Mr. Dunning, do, do swear, swear in absolute, absolute faith, faith 
that I shall reveal no secret of the brotherhood of the bill, that I shall respect my brothers and myself, that I will act as they desire, secure their interests as if they were my own. And I pledge this fortune and my life. This occult symbolism of the followers of Ba'el is pushed forward in Assassin's Creed, as well as a lot of misleading theories of how man was created, how secret societies work and where humanity is heading. You can say it's sci-fi, but I personally think it's all part of the propaganda to create a Luciferian society. The same company which makes the Assassin's Creed series is the creator of Watch Dogs, a game which is also filled with occult symbolism. Why would a game which is supposed to be about materialistic down-to-earth topics has as its main logo the seal of Aleister Crowley, one of the most recognized practicers of occult teachings? It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shay Cormac's memories has served us well. Shay's story is a message, one that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. Only we don't have a say in the matter. Oh. 
No, not gods. We simply came before. Even when we walked the world, your kind struggled to understand our existence. We were more advanced in time. Your minds were not yet ready. Still not. Maybe never. No matter. You may not comprehend us. But you will comprehend our warning. You must. None of what you are saying makes sense. Our words are not meant for you. What are you talking about? There's no one else here. Enough. I do not wish to speak with you, but through you. You are the prophet. You've played your part. You anchor him, but please, be silent, that we may commune. Listen. When we were still flesh, our home still whole, our kind betrayed us. We who made you. We who gave you life. We were strong, but you were many. And both of us craved war. So busy were we with earthly concerns, we failed to notice the heavens. And by the time we did, the world burned until naught remained but ash. It should have ended then and there. But we built you in our own image. We built you to survive. And so we did. You were our numbers. Your kind and mine. It took sacrifice, strength, compassion, but we rebuilt. And as life returned to the world, we endeavored to ensure this tragedy would not be repeated. But now we are dying, and time will work against us. Truth turned into myth and legend. What we built, misunderstood. Let my words preserve the message and make a record of our loss. But let my words also bring hope. You must find the other temples, built by those who knew to turn away from war. They worked to protect us, to save us from the fire. If you can find them, if their work can be saved, so too might this world. Be quick, for time grows short. And guard against the cross, for there are many who will stand in your way. It is done. The message is delivered. We are gone now from this world. Yes. Come. Here, at last. You know our story now. Of how we tried. Of how we failed. All our hopes extinguished. Save one. Your touch. A spark. A spark to save the world. Wait! Do not touch the pedestal. Minerva? You must not free her. Free her? Juno dwells within these walls, awaiting release. I will explain. While we worked to save the world, she sought instead to conquer it. She used our machines to set her plans in motion. Divination through numbers. There is a pattern to existence. To comprehend the calculations is to tame time. This was my focus. And so I built the eye to aid us. But she turned it towards her own ends. When we discovered her treachery, we put a stop to it. And then we left. But first we call to you, that you might try again. We thought it would be safe with her gone. Now I see we were deceived. She survived, she endured, and then she began to work. For centuries, Tinny and I walked the world, hoping to rekindle the spark of civilization. We shared what we knew as best we could. We were not the only ones, but for all the power we wrought, still death would claim us. But before it did, I would have one last look to know if we had succeeded. That's how you're here now? I had hoped you might find this place and finish our work. But it is too late. 
You and the Templars have squabbled over our refuse. You have wasted centuries, and so you have lost your chance. You cannot hope to stop the end now, Desmond. Only to survive. She's lying! Only touch the pedestal and the world will be saved. Better the world burn than she be loosed upon it. Is that so? Show him then. But he will not understand. It is complicated. It is... Show me. If you heed Minerva, the sun will have its way. The ground will crack and spit fire into the sky. All the world will burn. But this does not end the world. Merely heralds its arrival. Darkness follows. Then you emerge, resolving to lay a foundation that such a tragedy does not befall the world again. You will become a symbol to those who survive. Hope, knowledge, determination. You will inspire them to rebuild, to thrive once more. And as the world heals, so too will humanity. But you are just a man, frail and mortal. You pass from the world, leaving behind only a memory, a legacy. You will be remembered first as a hero, later as a legend, and in time, as a god. It is the cruelest fate to have written words that meant well and see them made wicked and unwise. What was meant to encourage life, used instead to justify taking it. And so now you see that what was shall be again. So tell me, how is this better? She would sacrifice you, sacrifice the world, for no other reason than to deny me vindication. They will enslave your kind, Desmond. Is this not why you fight? Is this not why you came here? To ensure more than just your race's future, but its freedom? What future? What freedom? Billions dead and the whole cycle begun anew? This world has known nothing but heartache and horror since we left it. Our gift to them, and you'd see it all returned. Enough! You must not do this. Whatever Juno's planning, however terrible it might seem today, we'll find a way to stop it. But the alternative, what you want, there's no hope there. If you free her, you'll be destroyed. It will happen in an instant. There will be no pain. You mustn't! It's done, Minerva. The decision's made. Then the consequences of this mistake are yours to live and to die with. You need to go. All of you. Now. Get as far away from here as you can. Come with us! We'll find another way! There isn't time. Son. You know it's true. It's already started. I need to do this now. So go. Go! Some sort of global aurora borealis. Never seen anything like this before. Eyewitnesses describe electrical storms and erratic displays of unusual weather. Residents are being asked to remain inside and wait for geological surveys are now reporting seismic activity throughout the Ring of Fire. Northeastern Canada is said to be experiencing the largest... On record, satellites and transformers are failing as the flare increases in intensity. Worldwide reports of blackouts and seems to be receding. 
Residual seismic and volcanic activity is being reported, but nothing approaching earlier levels. Obviously, it'll be a while before experts are able to assess the full extent of the damage caused by today's event. But it appears the worst is behind us. We'll be sure to bring you more as this story develops. It is done. The world is saved. You played your part well, Desmond. But now... Now it's time that I played mine. I did not understand the visions that haunted my mind, you see. Great towers of gold, cities, shining white as silver. I thought I was going mad. Then I found this place. Dr. Molay's vault. Through his writings, I understood. Understood what? Somehow, through the centuries, I was connected to Grand Master de Molay. And that I'd been chosen to purge the order of decadence and corruption that had set in like rot. And to wash the world clean. And restore to the truth the father of understanding intended. That seems to have gone over well. Prophets are seldom appreciated in their own time. Exile and abasement forced me to reevaluate my strategy. Find new avenues for the realization of my purpose. No matter the cost. A new order never comes without destruction of the old. And if men are made to fear untrammeled liberty, so much the better. A brief taste of chaos will remind them why they crave obedience. Here's we part ways here. Think on this. The march of progress is slow, but it is inevitable as a glacier. All you've accomplished is to delay the inevitable. One death cannot stop the tide. Perhaps it'll not be my hand that shepherds mankind back to its proper place. But it will be someone's. No higher power sits in judgment of us. No supreme being watches to punish us for our sins. All that we do, all that we are, begins and ends with ourselves. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.
Stop! Please! You know very little. We must guide you. Cease your struggle. No! It is done. The way lies all before you. Only she remains to be found. Awaken the Sixth. Go, alone! <laughs> 